Three passports belonging to Chinese nationals who didn't speak a word of English were uploaded on the governor's Facebook page. They had work permits allowing them to work in Port Moresby. The three were picked up in Popondetta, 143 kilometers from Port Moresby. Oral Governor Gary Jufa says he has written to the police, Ombudsman Commission, Labor Department and Immigration asking for answers. In this instance we are talking about people who cannot speak a single word of English and yet they are working in supervisory roles and management roles. The reason why English is a prerequisite is because of the skills transfer that is necessary because all these positions are supposed to have in place three-year training programs. If this person can't speak English, then how is he imparting his knowledge to the people that he's supposed to be training over this three-year training period? Jufa says Labor Department has come out defending themselves and the provincial police have responded. The former customs commissioner turned politician suspects a syndicate at work. It is my view that there is a syndicate operating that is processing these documents and these visas and permits for these people. And I've informed the Labor Department who, instead of coming out and helping me, have gone and be, become defensive and said that that's not the case. You listen, you listen, you talk to your staff or yourself. In the last four years, Gary Jufa has personally led crackdowns on businesses owned by Chinese nationals who are allegedly in the country illegally. The governor says if the labor minister and department secretary fails to fix the problem, they have to step down. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News.